What's up, guys? It's Trevor from Our Last Night, and uh, we're here with Rob from Punk Videos Rock. And I can't believe it's been 10 years for you, 11 years probably yeah, 11 for you guys years, already. I guess this summer, yeah. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, just finished uh, recording and releasing our new record, Younger yeah. Dreams, so stoked on that. Yeah. So pr prior to releasing that record, you guys did a lot of covers uh, yeah. during the last year, a lot of pop covers. How did those covers uh, help you guys out as far as the recording process or even the writing uh, process of the new record? Definitely recording because we record everything ourselves. So mm -hmm. obviously the more that you do something, the better you get at it. So it's good practice for us to do that before we record like a full length record. Uh, that and putting it on our YouTube helps uh, new people hear about our band that would have never heard about it before. So yeah, yeah exposure is definitely the best. Uh, the best thing about the covers, yeah. Now, Younger Dreams is like the first record that you guys are, are self-everything. Yeah, the first full length. We did uh, our EP, Oak Island, was uh, just us. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm stoked on it, dude. It's great, yeah. So with, with everything that you guys have done with labels and now you're doing it on your own, how do you guys like this, this new transition with being an unsigned band? It's cool. It's more work, but uh, obviously the more that you put into something, the more you see from it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's literally every day. I wake up and then before I go to bed, it's just work nonstop. We do all of our own videos, uh, record everything, sell our own merch. So it's become like a full-time job almost, which is good. Uh, it's awesome. But yeah, more freedom to do what we want. And uh, we just don't really have anyone telling us no and like when to release shit. It's just That's whenever true. we want to do it, which is cool. We know what our fans uh, want to hear, when they want to hear it. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. Just a lot of freedom, dude. It's you great. You guys are still doing your massive tours. You just did a yeah. world tour recently, right? World tour, yeah. We went to Russia, UK, Europe, and then Southeast Asia for, yeah, that was two months. We got home 10 days ago, had 10 days off, filmed a video, did all this shit, and now we're here. Yeah. yeah. And recording this record, you guys did it in the new house, right? Yeah, we did it in the new house, and then actually we didn't even finish it before we left for the world tour. So me and Matt, like, set up a recording rig in Cologne, Germany, and recorded vocals in the green room. Matt mixed it on the bus over there, so yeah. It was a lot of work, <laughs> but we're finally done. It's finally out, so make sure you pick it up. What are you most excited about this new album? Uh, just to see where it takes us, man. Just to uh, try and gain new fans. Warp Tour is the perfect tour to do right when you release something. We've never done Warp Tour before. So uh, that's weird because I feel like I've seen weird. you guys before well, on we Warped Tour. We did uh, 2010. We did like just the last like seven shows on the West Coast. It was like we did it in the van, played Kevin Says stage. It was awesome, but it wasn't like the full thing. So we're stoked to do the entire tour. Yeah, it's great, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and then you guys are unsigned, so that I mean that's even better we're for unsigned. you. Unsigned, <laughs> I know. We're unsigned, still doing everything ourselves. Uh, we're gonna try and record some covers on the tour. We brought all of our shit, so we're gonna set up a little studio in our bus and try and have some friends on the tour do some covers with us, yeah. film some cool videos. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now with with this record. Um, I feel like the last couple songs that you guys have released, they're more positive yeah, on this yeah, record. Yeah. Is, is that the purpose of this record? Of course, yeah. We always, our lyrics are always uh, positive towards any uh, anything we want to write about. But I mean, yeah, I like to write things that everyone can relate to in their own ways, whether it's what I meant it to be or, I don't know, I just like to write the lyrics where people can take that and put whatever they're feeling yeah. into those words. So. Yeah, we have a little bit of everything on this record. Yeah, so it's great. We got some, uh, we got some songs. Make sure you check it out, though. Yeah, for sure. And let us know what you think about it too. Definitely. Now, so on this tour, what are you guys, what are you guys playing? Are you guys playing, playing a lot of the record? Three new songs, and then uh, songs from Oak Island and the CD before that. So we have seven songs. Uh, maybe throughout the tour, we'll switch out more new songs, just because it just came out a week ago. Mm -hmm. So we're playing, yeah, three songs: "Home," "A World Divided," and then a song called "Road to the Throne." Yeah. What what song have you guys uh, been getting a lot of feedback from on this on uh, Younger Dreams? Since we released it, uh, Road to the Throne okay. is definitely everyone seems to be everyone's favorite. We just filmed a video for that, and it should be out on our YouTube next week. Okay. Uh, we still have to edit it and all that, but uh, yeah, that one. And then yeah, Home in a World Divided. We did videos uh, for before it came out, and kids seem to be digging that. Yeah, uh, World Divided is probably the heaviest one on the CD, so it's good to have that out on Warp Tour for sure. So you guys yeah, are going to get amped up, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you guys are on the tour while you're still working on all your other exactly. stuff. Exactly. Always, yeah, always working. Yeah. Any plans on uh, on another tour just for this record after this? Yeah, we're going back overseas in October, and then we're going to do a headliner here in the U.S. in November, December. Yeah. What would you guys like to bring out? Uh. 
a lot of bands. <laughs> Paris, our homies of ours, we grew up with them in New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, touring with them would be great. Hands Like Houses, Set It Off, all of our, yeah. I wish I could bring all of our friends that on tour. That would be cool. Them, just another yeah, world exactly. tour. Exactly, another world tour with just all of our homies. See, now, awesome. you're pretty much done everything on your own, so now yeah. just start a festival. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Day to Remember has a speed on the self-help fest. But, all right, uh, you guys can up that. Just, yeah, exactly. We'll try one on the East Coast or something like that. Right, but it has to come to L.A., though. Cause it will, yeah. I promise you it will, right, and it'll cool. be sick. So, you guys, be sure to get the new album, Younger Dreams. It's out now. Yep. And uh, any plans on maybe setting up a, a label under your name? Yes, that is actually in the works right now. We're going to try. while you guys are staying well, like to yourself? Staying, yeah, technically we have our businesses split up in certain ways. We're technically we're on our own label. And eventually we want to yeah, invite other bands to do it with us and kind of help them out too. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a process. But Ten years strong, you guys are doing it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, a lot of work. It pays off, though.